everyone. My name is Bryn, and I'm here with my good friend, Captain Cavity Fighter. Thanks, Captain. He was just telling me he likes my scrubs. I get to wear the special uniform because I'm a dentist in training. Right now, I'm a student just like you. Here at Toro College of Dental Medicine, I'm training to become a dentist, and Captain Cavity Fighter is my sidekick, helping kids keep their teeth healthy. That's right. Taking care of your teeth is really important. Without them, we wouldn't be able to talk, smile, or eat. Can you imagine not being able to enjoy a slice of pizza or a delicious piece of cake on your birthday? Don't worry, Captain. There's lots of things you can do to keep your teeth healthy and strong so you can keep chowing down on all your favorite treats. But not too many treats. Eating lots of sugary snacks is especially bad for your teeth and can cause cavities. Oh no, Captain, we can still have sweets, but you have to make sure you eat healthy foods too and always brush after eating. Fresh fruit and vegetables are not just good for your body, but they're also good for your teeth. Just make sure to avoid too many sugary snacks and drinks. Hey, did you know that your teeth are actually made up of three different layers? The hard white outer layer that we can see with our eyes is enamel and it's super duper strong. In fact, it's the toughest stuff in the entire body, even stronger than your bones if you can imagine that. But even though it's strong, your enamel needs you to protect it. That's right, not regularly brushing and flossing your teeth, especially after eating sugary sweets like candy or cookies, can lead to plaque, which forms cavities, which I'm sure you know all about being Captain Cavity Fighter and all. But let's get our friends up to speed here. Plaque is a coating made of sugar that sticks to your teeth if you don't brush. Over time, it can harden and be very hard to remove, which leads to, you guessed it, cavities. Cavities are holes that form in the enamel of your teeth. But unlike your nails after you clip them or a cut you might get on your knee after falling off your bike, enamel does not grow back or heal. That's why it's really important that you take extra special care of your teeth and brush really well. The next layer of your tooth is dentin, which is yellow and made up of teeny tiny tubes. And you want to know what the most amazing part is? Dentin is actually alive! It's not at all scary, Captain. In fact, dentin is super cool because it actually helps you tell the difference between hot and cold food. Being in the middle, one of its main jobs is to pass messages from outside enamel layer to the inside layer of the tooth called the pulp. If a cavity finds its way through the enamel and the dentin, it's the pulp that will send messages to your brain and tell you that something hurts. It's actually the most sensitive part of the tooth. Ouch is right. That's why we need to protect our teeth by brushing and flossing at home twice a day. Boys and girls, do you know how long you should brush your teeth each time? That's right. Brush your teeth two times for at least two minutes each time and visit the dentist at least twice a year. Time's up. Now that we know a bit about why it's important to take care of your teeth, let's meet up with our good friends, Dr. Carla and TJ, one of our star patients, to find out a bit more about his trip to the dentist. Hi, my name is TJ, and today I'm getting my teeth cleaned at Toro Dental Health with Dr. Carla and her team. My dentist always wears special masks, glasses, and clothes to keep themselves and me safe from germs. And I got to wear special sunglasses because they used a bright light to see all the way in my mouth. I think I looked pretty cool. Wow, the exam chair was comfy and it goes up and down too. The dentist chair has a tray where they keep all their special tools. First they check inside my mouth with the tiny round mirror to get a close look at all my teeth. Then they used another tool called an explorer to count I learned that I have 20 teeth now, but I could have as many as 32 when I'm all grown up. After that, they removed the yucky plaque on my teeth with an electric toothbrush called the Tooth Tickler. Dr. Carla told me that her toothbrush had a lot more power than the one I had at home. Then they used a water gun that sprayed water and air to rinse my mouth. Thank you, Mr. Thirsty. My dentist used this tool to suck up all the water. It was kind of like having a tiny vacuum in my mouth. 
Next, my dentist put fluoride on my teeth with a tiny brush. It was kind of like painting. I learned that fluoride helps keep your teeth strong and keeps cavities away. At the end of my visit, I got a goodie bag filled with all the things I need to take care of my teeth at home. Now I'm in the Cavity Fighters Club. And they showed me how to brush and floss, but I still need some help from my mom. Now my teeth are super clean. I learned so much and had a great time. I hope you did too. We hope to see you at your next dentist appointment really soon. Have a great day everybody and don't forget to brush and floss.